So I just got back from a trip and uh, it's kind of a big trip, kind of a bit of a different trip for me. Um, went to Bali. I want to talk about an observance that I noticed while over there uh, between the tourists and taking photos. Kind of an interesting observance, but nonetheless. First off, yes, I know that I'm doing some Casey Neistat craziness. I got my knockoff boosted board here and videoing while I'm boosting or whatever you want to call it. But uh, I was out and about this morning just playing around, clearing my head, thinking of things, and this is one of the things that came into my mind. I noticed that I have to focus on one thing or the other. I am not a good multitasker in that sense. So kudos to them. Uh, like I was saying, I noticed that while I was out on my vacation here that there was a lot of people taking photos and there was almost like two different classes. You know, there's the the tourist and then there's the a little bit more serious photographer. Um, the tourists were taking a little bit more selfies and little family poses and stuff like that, whereas the photographer had the tripod out and they they were, like I said, kind of taking a little bit more serious. And this is kind of what I want to talk about a little bit more, but you know, it's getting a little bit warm outside here, so uh, let's take this thing back into the office, and by the office, I mean, let's go back to the house. I didn't realize they had a cop golf cart. fancy camera been using my phone to make this video because I need a sensor cleaning and I finally got that in the mail today so anyway like I was saying I wanted to talk a little bit about the tourists versus the professional photographers um, and talk a little bit more about snapshots versus artistic photos and I think the best way to kind of introduce that or jump into that is by showing you some of my own photos some that I would classify as a touristy snapshot photo, and then a couple that I would classify more as an artistic photo. So let's turn this thing around over to the computer and let's jump on in. All right, so the first photo that I want to kind of get things off rolling with is this touristy photo. You'll notice that this is definitely that selfie that I was talking about. It's more of about me and my wife and saying, hey, we were here at this temple. The temple is very small in the background, but me and my wife's face front and center there. Now the other approach that you can do is more of the artistic side of things, which would be more of this. Uh, I took this photo to really show the temple, to really show the sculptures of the temple. I created this image versus just standing in front of it. I looked for the sun, uh, made sure I just kind of got it creeping around the tree. Uh, I got the angle of the building kind of showing the grandness of it, the bigness of it. So we have the artistic image and we have the touristy snapshot. Next one is this one here. This is a beautiful rainbow city uh, in Indonesia there. And this image here is just kind of the blah. It's the obvious. It's like, hey, here's this beautiful city. And I took the entire thing versus this photo here where I was looking for specifics. I still captured the Rainbow City. Now I brought in these compositional techniques with leading lines kind of leading us through the image, starting with the bridge here in the front. Uh, same thing here. We've got a beautiful sunset happening, and we've got the beach. And it's kind of one of those, meh, all right, yeah, it has potential, but I think it's a little bit lackluster. So that's where it comes into the next one, where now all of a sudden I've emphasized the sun in the background and the rays that it's making. I've put something in the front, I've got the beach in the middle, and now the sun in the back, really trying to show that this 
is this is more of an artistic image so once again we have the touristy snapshot kind of bland image and then we have this guy here sometimes we come across things that are a little bit interesting or odd or kind of catch us by surprise kinda of like this teepee now this image here is it about the teepee or is it about the sun or is it about that tree in the front it's hard to tell and that's what kinda of makes this image more of that touristy more of that snapshot uh, kind of confusing image so what I've done is I've waited for a different time of day to even take this image and I took it at night we've taken this interesting subject like the teepee and now we've kind of framed it with the trees we've got this beautiful Milky Way starry night sky going on so definitely a difference between the snapshot and the artistic image same thing here once again just having fun and you know capturing those moments of yeah I was here and this is me sticking my head in an iceberg uh, versus creating more of a story like you'll see in the next image here you know I've put Jen on the iceberg I've got the water all around her kinda like she's floating out in there and I'm pretty sure that if she stayed on that iceberg for one or two more minutes she would be floating out there but there's a lot more artistic nature to this image versus the whimsical one before all right so I'd like to kind of wrap this up just kind of you know bring it all together full circle style I've got some notes here that I think will help me to be able to do that so as you can see I think that there's two different categories there might be more than two but I think there's two different categories of photography there's the artistic side and then there's also the um, snapshot side and I think that the snapshot side consists more of um, the personal the whimsical the lack of thought more of just one of those things like you're walking down the store and you see something cute you take a picture of it your friend does something funny you take a picture of it it's just one of those things so I think sometimes these snapshots are more just a, a point and click more of that personal record of like hey this is my family party that I was at or this is um, this is something that was important to me a graduation a celebration of some sort um, and it's just a, a great memory keeping thing uh, and once again not a bad thing I think those are good things to capture on film, whether it be on video or whether it be on photo. So uh, I just think that there's a different twist if you wanted to make it more of an artistic photo. Am I saying it's a bad thing? Not really. I think 98% of everybody's phone is filled up with this particular style of photo. Um, I just think that there's definitely a difference between that type of photo and the artistic photo. The artistic photo has a lot more thought behind it. It's a lot more purpose-driven. It is more of the creating a photo versus just taking out your phone and clicking what you see. So I think having this understanding of there's differences between photos. Not, not all images are created equal. Not all images are the same caliber in the art photos. A lot of the times people are more cognizant, more aware of what's happening in the background, meaning that there's not somebody photobombing your image or there's not a car driving by in the background. When I took my snapshots that I just showed you, I could care less about where most of those people were uh, as long as I could get me and my wife and the subject of where we were in the image. I was fine. I was happy. But I think that uh, the art photos, I think that, uh, that there's a couple of different things that they do. One of them, they evoke a feeling or an emotion, meaning that uh, when I look at it, I feel a particular way or I question things. It starts to make me, make me think about it a little bit more. Uh, and I also think that sometimes they have a mood. 
Now, this mood might also be part of the next step, which is editing. I think a lot of the artistic images are edited uh, to elevate it, to make it better. And I think that this mood that the artistic images have is also part of that editing process that they do. Let's just kind of sum that up now. Snapshots, good thing, bad thing, I could care less, but I do think that they are not the same as an artistic image. I think that the artistic image has more of a plan, more of a thought, more of a creation to it, rather than just, hey, that's cute and funny, click, click. What are your thoughts? What do you think? Let me know and let's have a discussion. Let's have a little open conversation here. And uh, maybe we can all come to an agreement on something. And that's, that's where we're at. Let me know.